For instance, in the city of Cleveland, in the last 20 years, we have lost 50% of our population. Anybody that is able to, to leave the uh, greater Cleveland area who has a, is able to earn enough is, uh, is leaving. When the, when the neighborhood, neighborhood began to change from neighborhoods that were predominantly from Western European or even Eastern European descent into uh, communities that were more pigmented, such as the African-American communities and the Latino communities, uh, people began to move to the suburbs. And uh, the church did the same thing. Actually, many, many, many local congregations sold their buildings and built more beautiful buildings in the suburbs. Uh, basically, the, the influence of the gospel, the, the preserving element uh, that the gospel speaks about, is being sold to the earth, disappeared with that. Uh, and now we're, we're, we're shocked and amazed of the... Uh, how pervasive, uh, how dysfunctional we have become. Uh, and although the urban communities, and uh, it, it's a wonderful place to live. Uh, I, I love the city. You know, I love everything about the city. However, uh, the church has deserted that. So it is, it is, uh, 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 it's an imperative that that we come back to the city. It, and, and we call it renewing, uh, coming back to the city and becoming neighbors again. In many cases, we're, we we don't come here just to to proclaim the gospel. Well, we come here to live it. We come here to establish presence. Uh, as we looked at um, uh, Compassion Ministries, that, that basically did not show that. We, we're asking folks to come back to the city. Uh, for Nazarenes not to come back to the city is to really move away from the roots of why we came to be. Uh, the Church of the Nazarene at the turn of the century was a church that was committed to, to the poor. And the poor in those days were found in, in urban areas.